Howdy folks, Tom Bubbly here in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is take uh, take four of this video, so apologies if I sound a little jaded. It's actually remarkably hard to do this different scales and all this kind of stuff. Anyway, about a month ago on Model Rail Radio, I mentioned that I like this particular switcher. It is an EMDNW2, and it's just a cute little switcher. It kind of darts around my little lens scale layout and does all the work, and, you know, it's a very small train uh, relative to... Uh, Almost all the other trains, I probably should have had a reference size train here. Anyway, so this morning I was recording an episode of Model Rail Radio, I had Chris Abbott on the line, Steve from Chicago, Terry Terrence, a wide variety of folk, and the doorbell rang, and I went downstairs, and it was a box, now empty, <laughs> from Terry Terrence. Just phenomenally heavy box that had a bit of a rattle. The first thing I pulled out was this motor. I thought, oh yeah, this is interesting. And there were two boxes like so, and then I realized, whoa, gosh, you know, there's, there's some interesting, uh, some interesting, uh, you know, rolling stock in there, and then this box opened, and I've actually assembled, um, most of, well, all of the, um, all of the die-cast componentry of this, I spent this afternoon doing all the sanding and related stuff, there's still a bit of one there that needs a bit of work, but I'm going to get finer grit sandpaper and sand it down, the, uh, <laughs> size comparison here, the, uh, these two things here, I need a smaller screwdriver in order to install, and there's a horn right there. Uh, but, uh, this is O scale. This is O scale in contrast to N scale. And this was completely unexpected. I mean, this was really, I, I opened the box live on the show because I was so completely overwhelmed by the immense generosity of, of Terry Terrence. Shout out to Terry. This is a phenomenal gift, and it's a gift that's, uh, really come at an amazing time for me, um, and yeah, it's just it's amazing, I mean, speechless, basically. My grandfather, who passed away in uh, December last year, late December, uh, had a couple of Hornby wind-up O-scale uh, trains, and I've always had a particular affinity to O uh, from his, um, I wouldn't even call it a collection, but the things that would be assembled on the floor and played with for, for many hours, and my mother is currently staying with my grandmother in Adelaide. Uh, and yeah, the whole thing kind of, uh, because I was, I'm planning on talking to my mother later today, kind of came uh, together in an amazing kind of synchronicity. In fact, the whole synchronicity of the show being on when the box came, because we normally do it in the evenings, not in the early morning. Uh, so it was just amazingly synchronous that this all uh, came together. Uh, but anyway, it's got all the stuff underneath as well that I haven't yet assembled. I just wanted to get all this uh, nice. But yeah, these are actually screwed in. This is real old American die cast. I mean, this is, this is the way things used to be. This weighs a ton. It's a weapon. Uh, but also, it has an amazing amount of space in here, which is originally what I was talking to Terry about in terms of putting in potentially different DCC controllers, maybe even a radio control unit and a battery pack. I mean, it could just charge up through the tracks and then have, like, different lighting effects and a wide variety of other things that could be controlled. Uh, through radio control or uh, the emerging Ethernet standard. Let's just leave it at that. So anyway, there's a lot of additional stuff that needs to go in. As I mentioned, the horn and various brass things here and the little bell that goes there. But also there's a lot of wire work that goes on around here. I don't... Uh, plans here. But yeah, all these kind of wire bits and those grab irons. Um, I'm not sure if it's on this side. I think, yeah, on this side. So you drill in tiny grab iron holes and just amazingly elaborate stuff. Once this thing is finally built, it's, uh, it's going to be quite a treasure. It already is a treasure, actually. I'm really, as I said, quite overwhelmed by, uh, by Terry's generosity. Anyway, so you've seen the loco uh, that Terry included. Let me just put some of this back. It's really hard, actually, to get the scale uh, perspective of how big this is. Um, in large, uh, so here's the track. I should have actually, if I'd been smart, I would have had some end track uh, to compare with it as well that uh, Terry included. Uh, but here's the reefer car, and maybe this is of interest to others. Uh, beautiful old reefer. Beautiful. It has some plastic wheels, which I guess I'm going to have to re replace to be true the model railroading form. But again, I don't have any dates for. Uh, for either of these. I'm really quite fascinated to know the, uh, the date on the diecast in particular. Uh, I think this is far more modern actually. Intermountain, uh, I know, is a relatively modern company. Uh, and this looks like, although the, the photocopying, what have you, has some dating on it. Does it have any... Uh, does it have any... Gosh. 
have any dates on it. That one doesn't. Let's see if this one does. Diesel switcher. Look at that. I don't know when that was $69, but I'm imagining it was a, <laughs> a long time ago when it was $69. I'm just, uh, I'm just completely overwhelmed. There's all the fuller related wheels and other things that I've got to, got to put together and the final bits and pieces. So I'm going to find jar and various other things in here uh, that, yeah, I've got to finally put together. But just an overwhelming gift. An overwhelming gift from a, a listener, uh, a host. I mean, he's, uh, he's Terry at Model Rail Radio. And uh, yeah, just really overwhelmed by it. Actually, it's it's quite striking uh, because I think this is uh, yeah, it's come at a good time for me. It's come at a good time for me. In fact, exactly the right timing, perfect timing. In fact, so Tom Barbelay in Las Vegas, Nevada. Thanks to Terry Terrence signing out.